So, the second argument is to estimate mass and stiffness of a shear model building from the model test. let undamped shear building expressed by the equation of motion as below that is m x double dot plus k x E C F. The characteristic equation to determine Eigen value and mode shape is given by k minus omega square m phi i is 0, where omega i is the Eigen value and phi i is a corresponding mode shape. Stiffness matrix of the shear building is given by k 1 plus k 2 minus k 2 minus k 2 k 2 plus k 3 minus k 3 and so on let us say minus k n minus 1 k n minus 1 plus k n minus k n minus k n and k n. Mass matrix is given by m 1, m 2, m n expanding the above equations for L and R modes and reorganizing in terms of stiffness and mass parameters following equation is generated phi L 1 phi R 1 minus omega L phi L 1 minus omega R phi R 1 phi L 1 minus phi L 2 phi R 1 minus phi R 2 and that goes and says phi L n minus phi L n minus 1 omega L phi L n phi R n minus phi R n minus 1 
omega r phi r n multiplied by k 1 m 1 k 2 m 2 like k n m n will be equal to 0 or simply b multiplied by b vector is 0. Now, if m n is equal to unity, then the above equation will reduce to the form b dash b dash is equal to 0 omega l phi l n omega r phi r where beta prime is of the order 2 n minus 2 2 n minus 2 in which the last two rows and columns of B matrix are eliminated. B dash is 2 n minus 2 by 1 vector in which last two members of B vector are eliminated. Now, solving for the unknown mass and stiffness parameters that is k i and m i we get b dash is equal to b prime transpose b dash inverse b dash transpose 0 omega l phi l n omega r phi r n which tells me k n is equal to omega l phi l n by phi l n minus phi l n minus 1. Now, the mass and stiffness parameters obtained from the above equation or relative values of m l because you can see here m n is taken to be unity if for the relative value seven because m n is considered to be unity this method has salient advantages one only mode shape and frequency of two modes are required. Senior L and N. 
this method has a limitation this can be applicable only to shear model buildings. Thirdly, this is valid only for undamped systems. So, now let us see the summary friends in this lecture we are attempting to learn structural health monitoring methods. We also saw the flow chart for vibration based monitoring. We learned two methods one using frequencies and mode shapes. How can damage located damage be located. Second how to obtain mass and k for shear model building with only two frequencies and more chips. We will continue to see other methods in the coming lecture. Thank you very much.